I'm going to be downloading Tortoise SVN as I talk about Subversion, so don't worry too much about the screen because it's just me doing a simple installation. First off, what is Subversion? The purpose of Subversion is to be able to upload your data to an online or network storage space. You can upload your code into a specific folder and then access it from any computer. Subversion is used to share code and other work in the real world. Companies may use Subversion to back up files to online storage, or on a group project, I can upload my files onto Subversion and then someone else can look at and edit those files. In addition, Subversion offers version control, which means if I commit my files to Subversion, make changes, commit them again, and then later down the road I break my code or realize I should have gone down a different path, I can go back to an earlier version of the project and fix the issue, starting again from that earlier point. Here at BYU, Subversion is a way of turning in your projects. Instead of only running the test driver yourself, you load it onto Subversion, give the TAs your username, and then they run their test driver against your code on their machine. All you need to load are your Java files into specified Lab 1, Lab 2, Lab 3, etc. folders that you create in your repository. In the Explorer, open the folder that you want to submit. Note the green icon showing Java skills has already been uploaded. Right-click, open the repo browser. The first time you'll need to type in the server information, which can be found on the CS project page that you specify with your net ID. Oftentimes, the browser takes a little while to authenticate, and you may need to enter your username and password to get permission to open the page. I noticed that I needed to authenticate quite a few times, so I actually ended up just copying and pasting my password. Once you're successfully logged in, you can create your lab folders. Here, I create an example2 folder, but you will actually need to be create lab1, lab2, lab3 folders as shown in the back. Now you enter a log message, which is some type of description of the changes you've made. Then go back to Explorer, right-click the folder you want to upload to Subversion, and select XBN Checkout. The URL of repository is where you're loading your folder to, and the checkout directory is where the files are located on your computer, which is the spell folder. Click OK. Yes. Now, if we open the repo browser again, we see we've successfully created the checkout directory, but we don't have the Java files. So we open the spell folder, highlight all the Java files, right click, and select add. Then move up directory. Note that the icon has a red circle by it, which means that what we've uploaded now, nothing, and what we want uploaded, the Java files, are different. Select SVN, commit, type in another log message. Click OK. Let's say later on I make changes to my files, for example, using GVIM. The icon turns red because now the file here on my computer is different than the one on Subversion. I can select the file and click SVN commit, or I can go back a directory and select the whole folder. Enter log message. and it's back to green. We can also look at the files in the repo browser. Now you're ready to pass off to the TAs.